this channel welcome to this page my name is Shana Binta and we are in a 40 days of prayer and prophecy tonight is day five or night five um but um today is also the first day of Rosh Hashanah and so I wish you and your family a Shana Tova Umetuka and uh, that means a happy new year have a happy new New Year, um, have a happy and a sweet New Year, and so Shana Tova Ometuka to you and your family. Glory to God. So, um, with this uh, tonight, what I was hearing to share with you, this is a forty days of prayer and prophecy, and so um, I was hearing earlier today to share with you to be careful. Be careful who you uh, allow to pray for you, who you uh, ask for prayer from. Um, the word of the Lord says that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Um, and then even uh, for my own self, when I am about to be doing something, like for example, when I'm going on mission trips, I ask specifically for righteous prayers thank you for your righteous prayers because the prayers of the righteous um, those are the ones that availeth much and those are the ones that I request um, sometimes you may have some people you ask them for prayer you may say hey I may be going through this or hey I'm trying to do this and not all the time those people are in your best interest or really rooting for you and then sometimes um, not that they're trying to do anything to harm you um, but sometimes if you're asking for them to stand with you in agreement not all the time their heart is in the position to where they believe God is actually able to do that thing um, even in the Bible you will see when Jesus went to go raise uh, the little girl up from the dead you had many people that were already mourning and people that were already saying the little girl is already dead there's nothing that you can do and Jesus literally had to kick them out of the room because they were in a state of unbelief they were in a state of disbelief because of what they've seen it's not that they had any ill will towards the family or any ill will towards the, the girl's father or towards Jesus it was just that was the state that they were in and Jesus really just didn't have time to really go into a whole sermon and teach them that they need to believe he just had to kick them out and not let them be in that room uh, with the prayer because he had to to saturate the room um, the room needs to be a place where a miracle could happen. Um, and so sometimes you just really have to be careful and allow the Lord to lead you and to guide you into who you are, to let pray for you, to let pray with you. Um, because you, you know, if there's people, you know, that you love them and they love you, um, but not all the times they're in a state uh, where they can uh, be believing along with you. And so um, that was just something that I was hearing um, to wish you a happy new year, a Jewish new year. This is Rosh Hashanah again, and um, to encourage you to proceed, to proceed with caution. Um, and so uh, Proverbs talks about wisdom, um, using wisdom. And then the word of the Lord also talks about, uh, you know, being careful and allowing the Lord to order your steps according to uh, his word for allowing him to lead you and to guide you into all truth. He is the way. Mm -hmm. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the light. Sometimes you may not be able to tell anyone uh, about whatever situation you may be going through, whatever it is the Lord is leading you to do. Sometimes it may just be between you and God. Sometimes it just may have to be that way because really you cannot allow any doubt to seep in, especially if you, you know, you're doing something for the Lord. He's leading you to do something. You can't allow uh, doubt uh, to, to, to seep in and distract you from doing what it is that he's called you to do. Um, like for example, like for me, uh, I went to, we went to, the, we had a missions trip in May, late May and going to Nairobi, Kenya. Then I had another missions trip in, uh, uh, late August into the beginning of this month in September. And, you know, uh, doing that, it's wonderful to be able to do that. And um, I'll have certain ones praying for me. The Lord will lead me and who to share to pray with me. Uh, because sometimes you may have some people like, oh, well, you know, what, what about the weather? What about the forecast? I will tell you this. Um, when we were on our way to Belize, I think it was maybe like um, a couple of weeks before Belize, we were checking the broadcast and checking the, the, the weather. Um, 
and seeing what the, the, the weather, the forecast and seeing what it was going to be in Belize. And it was saying raining, thunderstorming, lightning for every single day that we were going to be there. That was the forecast for every single day that it was going to be thundering and lightning and raining and just storming every single day. Um, and we're like, OK, you know, we're you know praying for our flight. And then even up until the day before we left, the forecast was still saying the same thing. That is why you have to be careful who is praying with you and for you because, and I'm okay, you know, it's, it's what the Lord has led us to do. This is the time that he's set for us to, to go. And we literally had intercessors and prayer warriors praying for there to be, you know, a smooth flight, for there not to be any delay, um, for there not to, you know, be any, you know, uh, crashing or any type of accident or anything like that, um, even along with the weather. And so when we got there, I landed and my flight was smooth. There was no delay. Um, we landed. It was beautiful. And so beautiful, beautiful in Belize, beautiful country. And so it's sun shining out. And then um, we were there for a minute waiting to meet up with the pastor. Ooh, and, it, and it started to uh, rain. And it was beautiful when it rained. And that's something that I uh, personally remember about Belize is that it's beautiful there, rain or sunshine. And so um, with it being beautiful, you know, rain or sunshine. And so then I noticed that with their weather, the reason why I was seeing that in the forecast was because it does rain every day. It rains multiple times a day. The thing is, it's not the same as it is here in the States. Well, I'm in Texas with the rain there, the rain may last like five minutes and then it dries up and the sun comes back out. And so it's just rain and then sunshine. And then maybe a few hours later, there's like a little bit of rain and then the sunshine comes right back out and then dries up, you know, um, where it's, you know, been wet. And so um, it was, you know, beautiful. And so I was just like, okay, Lord. <laughs> and so that's why it said that in the broadcast. And so or in the in the forecast, the weather forecast, that's why I was saying that rain and storming every day was because it literally does rain and storm every day. But we didn't know that. The prayer warriors didn't know that. But we had people on our side to stand with us in uh, belief, in um, believing in that the Lord was leading us to do this and um, that he was leading us to do it in the timing that we were going as well, that he would keep us, that he would protect us. Um, and so glory to God. I know there was some scriptures that I did want to uh, share with you. Also, um, being careful who you let speak into your life, what prophetic voices you let speak into your life, um, you know, what you're believing um, you know, you know, and so uh, you want to be be careful about that. First uh, John chapter four, verse one, it says, dear friends, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. Um, and so be careful. And then also not all the time, like it's, it may not be a false prophet. Uh, sometimes the word just may not be for you. And so even with listening to prophets, like even, you know, like listening to me, um, even right now, you know, is the Lord leading you to listen to this video and the timing, you know, that he's leading you to listen to it because it, it may not be, you know, for you um, in that season, you know, the, every, each word, every word is not um, always for um, everyone. And so you want to be careful and just allow the Lord to lead you. Um, and I think there was another one, Ephesians chapter five, verse 15 uh, through 17. Be careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand that the Lord, understand what the Lord's will is for your life. And so even when we pray, um, there may be different things that we want and desire uh, when we pray um, as, you know, individuals, but even when I pray all the time, okay, I'm asking for what it is I want um, and what I'm, you know, what I'm requesting of the Lord. But then at the end, I always say, but let your will be done. Let your will be done because his will is, is perfect. Um, he has a perfect plan and a perfect purpose for us. And so not all the times what I want, it may not be best for me um, in that time. And so I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm making my petition known to you obeying his word. He tells us to make our petitions known to him, to submit our requests with thanksgiving. Um, 
And so I'm doing that. I'm making my petition. And then at the end, I'm also allowing you to take your rightful place in my life as ruler, as king, as my Lord, um, and praying and asking for your will to be done. And so uh, glory to God, glory to God. Um, Let me see if there's any other uh, scriptures that I wanted to do all oh, this one it goes along with you know taking the mission and doing what God has called you to do second Timothy chapter 4 verse 2 preach the word be prepared in season and out of season correct rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instruction be prepared in season and out of season and that kind of goes back to that example that I gave with the mission ship the most recent one in Belize um in season and out of season and so the season where it was, you know, a rainy season. Okay. But the Lord still wanted us to go to Belize and he still was able to use us. And it was a very successful mission trip. And so be prepared in season and out of season, um, to do what the Lord has called you to do. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Um, there is one last verse, uh, well, actually two more Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse one. If you fully obey the Lord, your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on the earth. Um, and also going back to that believing heart, uh, Hebrews chapter 3, verse 12. See to it, brothers and sisters, that none of you has a sinful, unbelieving heart that turns away from the living God. So sinful, unbelieving heart. Um, and people may be like, you know, how is that? sinful or how is that you know evil to you know not believe uh sometimes um you know with that you you have to you know be careful because with that um there's also kind of a sense of pride and uh, not believing and you know what the lord has spoken what his word says and not believing in his power um and so for example say you know you commit um a crime or something you're like oh you know now you know I feel like the Lord may never forgive me or now I'm too far gone or whatever or um, you just think that his grace is just not enough for you and that's actually a sense of pride you may look at it and may you think that it's a sense of humility but really it's a sense of pride and what you're really saying is that his power isn't enough for whatever sin you did basically saying that him going to the cross and his great sacrifice, you're trying to say that his great sacrifice isn't enough for whatever sin you committed for him to forgive you. Um, Now there may be earthly consequences, but his power is still made perfect in our weakness. And um, there's also a verse in the New Testament that says his grace is sufficient. I was actually the Lord speaking Um, And he says, my grace is sufficient and my power is made perfect in weakness. And so his grace is sufficient for you. Uh, His mercies are new every morning. His love is conditional. His peace does surpass all understanding. And so he is enough. He is enough. Uh, Glory to God. And so I encourage you to believe in what he has spoken, um, what he has said. His promises are yes and amen. And so glory to God. Let us pray. Um, Lord Jesus, I thank you, God, for this beginning, this start of a new year, this um, first day of Rosh Hashanah. Lord God, uh, this new Jewish new year on the Jewish calendar, 5783. Thank you, God, for allowing us to see another Jewish new year. Uh, We praise you. We glorify you for it, oh God. I ask Jesus that you would uh, encourage your children tonight, that you would lead them and guide them into all truth. You are the truth. You are the way. You are the light. Oh, Father, I pray, God, that you would uh, help us to be careful, that you would help us to proceed with caution, that you would order our steps according to your word, even in who we receive a prophetic word from, even in who we uh, listen to, who we take advice from, who we take encouragement from, Lord Jesus, who uh, we ask for prayer, who we stand in agreement with for prayer, Lord Jesus, that you would lead us and guide us um, in all truth in all of our ways and all of our our ways, oh God, that our lives may glorify you, that our steps may glorify you, that our conversations may glorify you, that our prayers, our thoughts may glorify you, that our heart posture may glorify you. Even as we pray, may we pray believing, 
believing that you hear us and believing that you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all, above all, above and beyond all that we could ever ask or think. Father, we thank you for your power. We thank you that your power is made perfect in our weakness. We thank you that your grace is sufficient, that your love is unconditional, that your mercies do renew every morning and that your peace, it does surpass understanding. I thank you that you are the Prince of Peace. I thank you that you are the God of Peace, our Jehovah Shalom. You are the God of healing, our Jehovah Rapha. Thank you, God, that you are almighty God. Thank you that you are mighty God, almighty God you are. You reign and you rule. You are still reigning and you are still ruling. We thank you that the blood still works. Glory to God. We thank you that your blood still works. We thank you that you still hold all power, all authority, all dominion. We thank you that you came to give us life and for us to have it even more abundantly. We receive the life. We receive the abundance. We praise you for it. We give you all glory, honor, and praise in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, tonight was day five of this four days of prayer. Um, Lord willing, I will uh, be back on again tomorrow. Glory to God.